child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. when it gets plowing restless. It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll comb it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. You merciful gods! Test the old legends, change it into a lubberkin. Oh, fuck. Stopped. 
chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the Botchling to turn into a Lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Sure. 
it wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Shoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Who wants to show me something more? Bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Clothing. They change in here? Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. Horseshoe. No way a, a bracelet pitch burner could afford one a of horse. them must have dropped it. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more.
just had a field day. Should examine that horse carcass. What do we have here? Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Hmm. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Her son said enough, no point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another time. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? For like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then I saw it, fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These. Well, like burned on, with hot iron, on the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine, what happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had 
put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden, and then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. The beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.
stand and fight. Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. To honor Maid Bilbury, fairest of all maids I know, by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Hmm. Why are you challenging me? Don't recall doing anything to offend the Maid Bilberry. Well... Why... Um... Then swear. Swear! Maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all. Thing is, I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah! I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend! Stand and fight! Bad idea. I yield. That enough? Yes. Look stood with you. But but the next time we meet. Go back to Maid Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. Witcher, a word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is? Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk? No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. 
in this hole, this reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She all right? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it has helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Ciri, like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Ciri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living? Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher? Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witchers there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Well, that's an awfully gloomy face. Too much of a coward to race a woman. The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. Day dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! K 
Come on, silly. Don't you embarrass us. Go on! Kick it! Show sure how it's done! You're wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more? I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of my unique cards. How's that for enticement? Let's lay him down.
You're not complete shite, but you really should work. I'm listening. What? In the mood for a roundup? <laughs> Let's. You're not comp- I'm listening. In the mood. <laughs> Let's lay him down.
you won. A man's only as good as his word. Take the card. I fear Velen's short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer. Lived east of here, near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad about as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. Wait, Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll. Uh -huh. Did you see it yourself? I'm mm -hmm. mm -hmm. grabbed him by the cloak and mm -hmm. bang! Right in the chops! Right in the chops! Mm -hmm. Oi lads, fancy an outing to find that she be? Soon the Smiths, lads. Get a tooth, man. Got a bad idea. Nice tits on it. I'm talking hey, about the Shreeter. We can have it in the pet. Whoa! Take it easy. Just hide by and find some work. Uh, pass. Ow! Watch where you step. No passing! You're choked to death on three pounds. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. What is it? Got in his back and picks his teeth with an axe. Watch your step.
for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Father send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? 
Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck.
man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought home a bucket of paintings oh. yesterday. Rifles, move it! That seems to catch my breath. You white one, look like you got south. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Gods, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. Well, what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. <laughs> 